Hi guys and welcome to my review of the TRN Kirin. Uh, this is TRN's entry into the planar, uh, let's say, planar uh, era that we are now living with most of, most of the brands uh, sooner or later, you know, um, catching the train and, and following on what was started out by 7 Hertz and, and we owe it to 7 Hertz definitely for their for their boldness and for their uh, for uh, their um, launch of the timeless because it, it was it was definitely a game changer with regards to to uh, planars um, and what was available up to, the, to that time uh, so yeah uh, first of all I just wanted to congratulate uh, TRN for that um, because not only were they brave enough to launch a planar but uh, in my opinion it's it's actually a pretty decent planar and I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ahead a little bit uh, but I'll, I'll explain better in a few minutes it's a it's a nice uh, it's a nice enough uh, planar, um, and it it's it's good to see that uh, TRN and, and KZ are finally wanting to launch more quality products, well, more well tuned, uh, you know, and and not just the budget stuff, which is just well, most of the times not that interesting. I mean, KZ is probably being a little bit more conservative because they're following the single DD route. And they, in, in essence, just launching multiple variations of the same or similar drivers, just tuned slightly different, and then just kill, calling it, you know, EDA, EDX Ultra, uh, ESX, uh, VES, uh, uh, Lyra, whatever. But the merit is there. The truth is that the merit is there, and they play well. They play really, really well. There, there, there hasn't really been any any one of these uh, more recent cases that you can say, oh, okay, this is. Mm, all right, and TRN has been doing basically the same thing. They, they, well, they had the MT1 initially, which I, I still think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a better IEM than the MT1 Pro, uh, which they subsequently launched. Um, then they, uh, in more recent times, they had the VX Pro, which was pretty decent uh, for a, for a hybrid six plus one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then they had the Tiger Edition, which had a slight little difference in the tuning, but again, pretty decent. Not not a bad IEM. Um, the X7, the, the all BA wasn't that successful. It was just lacking uh, too much uh, extension up top to, to you know, to really open up the sound. But it was a it was a good attempt. Uh, in my opinion, I think I, I think it was actually better than the BA15. Um, then you have the as well the the backs, which in essence had all the ingredients to be a fantastic IM. Uh, the backs, it it was really a I mean, I hate to say this, but the backs, I think it was just a question of copy-paste because um, rumors are that it, they, they, they looked at the e, uh, the Duno ES112 and, uh, well, they had everything to really <coughs> tune it properly. I mean, it, it in terms of the, you know, the, the bass and the mid and the early mids, it was okay, but then the rest just, I don't understand. I just don't understand. There were some variances with drivers and maybe I got one which was excessive in the bass. Uh, I've seen other reviewers with other backs which have much less bass than my one but anyway overall it wasn't a bad attempt um, maybe a little bit pricey uh, for first attempt to something so bold but I'm guessing that you know the components used also dictated that price uh, but I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that they will um, they will retune it and they'll come out with a, with a backs pro or backs plus or whatever they want to call it and, and 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 they will fix up what was uh, not uh, fully obtained the first time around. Um, then they came out with TA1 Max, the best of the TA series, unquestionably. Very nice. I reviewed that I am recently, so have a look if you want to see what I thought about. And now they reviewed. Uh, now they reviewed. Now they've launched the the Kirin. Okay, 14.5 millimeter planar. Uh, and uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I was very pleasantly really pleasantly surprised. Anyway. This is the box, nice enough, inside IM came over there, uh, pack styled, you know, case, the usual thing, plenty of tips, it brings a modular cable with all of the um, accompanying terminations, 3.5, 2.5 and 4.4, it brings these nozzles, which I'm actually going to leave them outside, yes, we can talk about them, plenty of tips, I mean, everything accessories wise, for $129, really no complaints honestly no complaints they've 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 done their homework so once again congratulations um i'm not using the cable as you saw uh, purely only because i just like more this this nice hdk um, 
copper copper cable. It just looks nicer. That's all. What about the IEMs? Well, as I said, 14.5 open back design. Um, and uh, I believe I believe I could be wrong, but the driver has some some commonality with the driver used in the Muse Hi-Fi Power. And actually, when you when you see the graphs, there is a lot of similarities there. Um, but it comes in a very nice shell, uh, metal, well built, fits flawlessly in my ears. I'm using KB Year 07 tips, the medium size. Um, I mean, isolation is good. I, I, the, nothing. I, there's really nothing I can say about that. I think in terms of fit, looks, uh, it's it's well done. I mean, it's it's. Uh, uh, you know, full marks there. Um, so, well, what we want to know, uh, what does it sound? So, since I'm, I'm kind of hyping it so much, well, how does it sound? Well, I was going to take out all the planers. I was going to have the rep go and the timeless and, and the muse. And, uh, and obviously here I've got the, the P1 Max and the Lead Shore. But I decided to just keep it to these two. Because I think these two basically are, are suffice. Um, also, why these two? Because these two are the ones that uh, approximate themselves the closest in terms of price to the TRN. The TRN is 129, this is about 150, this is about 150 as well, 149, 154, 155. So they, they are the closest. The Timeless, the News, the Reptco, they are all over $200. So it just, in my opinion, didn't make sense because they are substantially more expensive. Um, these three, uh, uh, well, uh, I'm not going to say that they share, but, but they have a, the, also a common thing, which is they've got a, the shells, which are more or less the same in design, appearance, and size, while the Timeless, we know what that is like. The Repco is huge, although it's, huge, you know, a more simple-sized shell, a more uh, common uh, sh uh, looked, uh, lo you know, in terms of looks, the shell is common, but it's, it's a large shell. The Muse is, is huge. Uh, so these two are, are, have that commonality as well. As for uh, well, what the S12 is and what the P1 are, is, oh, so much has been said about them uh, that I, I don't think I need to really go too much too, in, in, too much into detail. But S12 known for having amazing base, it can be becoming a base monster uh, as compared to the Timeless, which was its its predecessor, it's the, the the first one. Um, it's a little, it's got. Uh, there's something about the treble that's just, I don't know, just perhaps cleaner than, than the Timeless, uh, more base than the Timeless in quantity, quality is about the same, about the same mids, uh, resolution, de you know, detailed retrieval, sound stage, it's, it's, it's a mixed bag of results between that and the Timeless. Uh, this, what it does have uh, uh, going for it over the Timeless, the main, well, not, not, not only that, but it's the price, which is a seventy dollar difference, which makes this a, a way, a way better buy than the, than the, uh, than the timeless. If if you know if money is a is an issue. Uh, but sound, they are they have a lot of similarities. The P one is the complete opposite. So, this this one here, the S twelve, will basically represent the group of IEMs which include the timeless and the Raptco and the S12, they all fall within the more, that, that same kind of, you know, uh, sound profile. This one was a break away from that design or from that type of sound because it was a neutral. It's very much like a P1 Plus, but with a warmer bass. Uh, and and, and, and it was its neutrality that has captivated me. And, and I, I'm a big fan of the P1 Max. I think the P1 Max is, hasn't been getting the, the deserved attention and hasn't been getting the deserved love, but this is a tremendous IEM, and it's only flaw, and I think that maybe that's the reason why people are not really exploiting its full potential, is it needs power. This is the most power hungry out of all the planners I have tested so far. It needs power. You give it power and this thing just comes alive, period. And it sounds good. Um, I didn't find it to have overly recessed um, vocals or uh, okay one you know uh, fair enough you listen to this 12 and you put this on you might find one or two things a little bit more laid back or a little bit more recessed but you know what it's the overall balance of this which makes it so spectacular um, 
and although it is it does have a little, it's been tuned to have a little bit less bass than the s12 the truth is when you're actually listening to it you don't uh, you don't get that perception of that that big of a difference you know now i've actually got a graph here which i'll i'll show to you guys in a in a second um but i like i like it's it's it, the way it's very neutral across like one from one to eight k it stays very very flat i mean honestly very very flat um finally the the kirin uh, well like i said the kirin graphed very similarly to the um the muse and the muse uh, the, the issue there with the muse was that they they should have learned from the other available models in the market and not made uh, not perhaps be too hasty in the, in the tuning and again i say what i said earlier and i hate to say this but you know copy paste just copy paste people don't don't if you're going to do something different and i've said this multiple times make sure that your different is good don't make it different and it's no make it good and they should have copy pasted and this um Although it has, like I said, that kind of similarity in the graph, and I'll show you now the graph so you guys can see. Okay, so the green line there that you see is the P1 Max, and you can see it's the one that's the flattest across the board. And, and you know, I've actually centered the 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 the, the IEMs at uh, at a common point of 500 hertz, so they all uh, they all have the 500 hertz as their uh, their their um, common uh, um, frequency. And why? Because that's how I hear them. I hear the Kirin, as you can see here, having a, a very similar bass output to the the S12. I do. Uh, whether or not it will then uh, respond to equalizer or, uh, as well, or, or, or that's a different story. But it, it sounds. It's got a nice full bass. It's got. It's definitely got a little bit extra bass over the 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 P1 Max, which when you see here, it seems like it's got. A, less than the than the s12 and the, the current and it's not the case it it's a little bit less but it's it's there it's nicely it's detailed it's it's a it's a really good base so yeah um as you can see then like as, as i was mentioning the green line is the uh, the p1 the bluish line is the s12 okay you can see and then the the red line is the current and fine, you can see that yes, it peaks there just over 2k, then it's got this, this that drop there of around 6 dBs between 2 and 5, and then drops again, and then it's got that extension past, past 10k. The funny thing is, and I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is down to the fact that you have way more bass because the bass on the muse is more along the lines of the bass of the p1 as you see in the graph and it even sounds thinner than the bass of the of the p1 masks that that's that that's a funny thing the bass on the muse sounds definitely thinner than the bass on the p1 max uh, the bass here on the current sounds nice and full it's it's got weight it's got some guts behind it and because it's got some guts behind it it somehow complements because you know bass is is one of the main things that will make or break mids and it complements the upper mids on on the current very nicely so although you have that dip there you know between three and four k which is significant when you're actually listening you don't perceive it to be that significant and actually when you're looking at the graph here if you look if you're paying more attention you will see that the even with that dip the difference between it and for example the s12 is not that significant the s12 has basically got the same energy at you know two three k as the the current and um, and then you can see that it's also got a little bit of a peak there at five okay and it also has a little bit of a, of a dip there between uh, the three and 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 you know, three and four k um not as big but what i'm trying to say is you you can definitely hear that it's not as weird sounding as the muse was in that aspect the muse just sounded wrong in the mids it sounded and this thing no this this the current sounds for me and for my music it sounds perfectly fine um no no issues um maybe that early roll off there will take away a little bit of the 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 you know the, the info in in the presence area and and it and will ultimately affect detailed retrieval slightly 
but uh, again i i didn't find that it was significant to the point to be a deal breaker in any way no i didn't um i think it's 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 a, it's a, it's a decently tuned theorem uh, sorry uh, decently tuned planar it plays decently well my 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 uh, my uh, playlist my, my 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 music that i usually like to listen to um i mean songs like um the, 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 there's a few songs which or songs which can be quite demanding for example um the chemistry of love uh from michael franks it's a demanding song you, you can it can really make or break uh, you know uh, uh an i am uh, still waters run deep from carolyn no as well it's another demanding song and it was fine they, they, it played it really well uh, compared to these two yes the p1 does play those songs slightly better yes it's true yes the um, the, the s12 has got a little bit more energy which for example in frank mccombs uh, what you're going to do it, it gives it that little extra you know uh, yes uh, spanish breeze from antonio forcione yes on, on on the s12 there's that little extra energy that is welcomed for the guitars and so on but it's not bad yeah that's the thing it is genuinely not bad yeah i think you know being bold this is probably the best trn that uh, they've made honestly i really genuinely uh, believe that this is the best tuned trn that i've heard uh, it plays well uh, and, and it plays so well that i like going to it and listening to it um before I carry on with the, the nozzles which I have here, with regards to technicalities, as I mentioned, detailed retrieval could be a little bit better. I'm guessing the fact that they lost a little bit of that uh, energy there uh, past 6K, or, or there's that early roll-off, it kind of manifested itself. But it's it's not, not uh, you know, it's not something that's, oh my God, it's 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 bad. No, it isn't. It's, it's more than fine. Um... That energy that you see in the graph past 10k, I'm showing it here. Um, it's it's uh, it, it look it is there because I do f I do sense it, um, and I do feel that it's there, uh, and it, it adds a little bit of extra little air, but it's not something which is uh, really too significant. I did find it, however. Uh, and I guess it's because of that little peak there that that it has at five. Oops, sorry guys. I did find it to be at 5k there. I did find it uh, to be a little bit sibilant sometimes, a little bit, just very little bit sibilant. But again, not not terrible. Nothing that nothing that uh, you can't really uh, control or, or you know just bring down the volume a little bit. No. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, sound stage, it's it's fine. It's um, it's below these two it is but it's fine it's it's okay uh, imaging decent on level on par with the these two here um the, the the tonality and the tone i found it to be for the most part correct um i found that male vocals came across better than female vocals um only because of that issue that sometimes it can get a little bit uh, you know, it, it's it's a two it's a two it's a two way thing. First of all, it's that dip that doesn't help with sometimes giving the energy that the female vocals need or some female vocals need, and then having that peak there at five, uh, which becomes a little bit more uh, noticeable because of the of the, the the dip that's before it. You can feel that it can sometimes have that little extra you know sibilance, and but it look. I'm I'm really being nitpicky. I'm 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 really trying to falter this in, in you know. And the truth is, you put it on, and and as long as you have uh, decent power, because it can also take quite a bit of power. And as long as you got some decent power, you know, going to it, a decent enough dongle, uh, you will not pick up on these things in on on, on your daily commute. Honestly, I, I you you won't. Okay, um, it's it's like I was saying, it's got a. Decent enough tonality and timbre, it's correct for the most part. Uh, and yeah, and then that finally brings us here to these uh, these uh, nozzles. Uh, one is, the first one here is supposed to be the transparency, 
by default it bring it, it the, the reference ones are installed and then it has the um, the um, what do they call it they call it the atmospheric okay what are the differences well it's very simple if you actually look here in the back it's just the diameter there's no filters or anything it's just diameter you can see there that's the, the change in diameter and what that change in diameter does is the following uh, from the default ones to this one there's just maybe 1 dB extra energy the 2 and at 4k and 5k and um, these ones the atmospheric these ones bring um, it, 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 it makes the dip bigger it makes the the, the roll off past 6k even more significant so this one is the one that I really didn't like and it and it really this this uh, particular nozzle filter here will definitely uh, accentuate the faults that the the Kirin has okay it will uh, while the transparency and 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 the, the reference are, are basically the same thing honestly I mean it's you know it, it there's really no 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 difference so yeah that that covers the the filters there. I will just leave the reference on and that's it so. Yeah, to, to finalize, guys, uh, would I recommend the, the current? Yes, I would. I really would. Uh, its biggest problem, really, is that you have now the Dioko coming out, and, uh, well, uh, it, it's, it's, been, it's been touched by the hand of Mr. Critical, so it's, it's, it's bound to be a good IEM that plays well. Uh, so let's see how that comes along, how that pans out. But uh, that's its biggest adversary, I, I think. Because of of its ninety nine price ninety nine dollar price tag, this uh, you can pick it up. I've seen it for one fifteen. Okay, so you can pick it up for about thirty five to forty dollars less than the sure and fifty fifty odd dollars less than the P one. And you know what? It, it it will all be down to your personal preferences because uh, yes, these two are slightly slightly superior in certain aspects and and but it's not like these two just walk all over the current and absolutely destroy it no i don't i don't agree with that um it has its merit uh, and it's it's like i said it's well built well accessorized um and uh yeah it, it deserves maybe people to give it a little bit more uh, to give it a little bit more attention because it, it's really really a, a, a commendable uh, effort by by Tiorian and they they have my congratulations. I really I really you know give it to them. Well done. Anyway, guys, as usual, like and subscribe if, if you, you know if you like my content. And anything uh, extra that you would like me to to say about this uh, compared to something else, please let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to to do my best to oblige. And um, and that's it. All right. See you guys soon. Take care.